Hello, hello, and welcome. Silra is here with Star Wars About Front. So, I do want to talk briefly about AT-80s in the Walker Assault. Firstly, let me though say that I am completely okay with AT-80s being on rail. Did I have put away my rose-colored glasses when it comes to video games for years and years ago? I remember all the horrible times from British Battlefronts where AT-80s walked to the edge of a map, did absolutely nothing for your team and so forth. I do not want that here ever. So I am okay with them being on rails. However, however, I am not okay with the AT-80 being a battle pickup which allows you to mount Essentially an indestructible thing for 60 seconds, which allows you to form points like crazy. Battlefield had this silly, annoying plane everybody hated already, uh, which allows you to do kind of similar thing. Except that plane could actually be shot down really easily. AT-80 is not at all on the same level. Until it gets vulnerable, the, it is basically invulnerable, indestructible. And there is very easy point forming once you get used to how the AT-80 weapons functions uh, and so forth. And this compound, especially right now in the beta with the spawns where you can basically just rain artillery strikes on the spots where the rebel players spawn, because the spawns are static. This is not a good gameplay uh, mechanic and decision, but uh, in my honest opinion, the AT-80 should be firing at, for example, ground targeted turrets and these kind of things uh, as an automatic action. It should not be something you mount and farm points with for 60 seconds while being basically invulnerable to all damage while you are farming points. This is my honest opinion, we will see if this kind of stuff gets changed to the release. I doubt so, not on this timetable anymore. But I'll just put this thought out there. I do not agree with this kind of gameplay decision at all.